Block number 171, Tuesday, May 14th, 2024, 7.53 p.m. Here to the Today Show, as I usually do. I don't know what the plan's gonna be for today. Maybe sit here for an hour or two, to 10 o'clock, I really don't know. I guess I'll sit here till I feel like moving, which right now, not really. Just got up. Probably sit here, till, it'll probably be at least nine, maybe. I'm just gonna watch the Today Show. Maybe I could turn it between this and Sports Center. Is the Loud House still on? But I don't know why they're playing the Loud House in the morning now. Why is the Loud What? What? What is Team Nick doing? The Loud House? And then the Adams Family? And then Harry Danger comes on at 11. And the what? Thundermans comes on at 5. The Thundermans return? And then Rock, Paper, Scissors. Man, this is the most shows they've had on one day. They have the Loud House? So let's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six shows in one day. So unfortunately, none of them are really that good. They're playing the Thunderman's Return, I guess I could watch that. What in the world, t Nick? what are you doing? You're gonna play a combo of shows, I love that. But don't play Rock, Paper, Scissors, and the Adams Family and stuff like that. This is today. Lights. Camera action indeed. It's just, where is it at? There it is, The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon 8 to 10. And then of course, he's got his actual show too. But I'm gonna be watching Jimmy Fallon for two hours, 8 to 10, and then another, I'm gonna go watching Jimmy Fallon for three hours tonight. Oh yeah, that's awesome. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. I'm recording this right now. That's awesome. I can't believe it's been 10 years since Jimmy Fallon came on. That's just 10 years. Uh, like I always say, I'd never watched Fallon before the last year, but I always watched clips of it all the time. So I didn't ever watch the full show before, but I've watched Fallon. I mean, ever since I Carly came on, I was watching Fallon. 10 years, man. Best late night show on television, Jimmy Fallon. Oh yeah, you did well. You did well, Fallon. This is gonna be so cool, man. It's 8.20. I'm gonna see you probably 40 more minutes and then I'll probably play some MLB. In other news, Ariana Grande. It's good to have her back as an actor. Of course, that's how I know her. It's from Cat, from Sam and Cat, iCarly. Swindle. That's so cool. So cool. It's 844, I turn it to Sports Center. I talked about this yesterday, Bronny James medically cleared. I saw something that LeBron James was at the Cleveland game last night, which is really interesting. Brian Windhorst said something like, there's definitely something here. Is he gonna, right here, right as I was saying, look at this. What does that signify? This is definitely interesting. Why was he at the, I mean, he could just be a fan attending it. I mean, he was from Cleveland. All right, it's nine o'clock. Here comes the prices, right? I'm gonna only sit here for about 20, 30 more minutes. And I'll play like three minutes of my MLB The Show game. She needs to have both these numbers right. Not even close. That was one of the worst lucky seven performances I've ever seen. A dollar on the price is right and she falls to the ground. <laughs> She's so excited. <laughs> There seems like there's a dollar every single day. I don't know why. It's weird. All right, it's 931. Just moved from the bed, got dressed. It's now time. I don't know how long I'm going to play MLB The Show, but it is 930, so probably 25 minutes or so. I'm pretty sure the next game started. I think I'm up 5-2 in like the fourth inning or something, so I don't remember. I hopefully saved it because, as you can see, it's doing the opening animation, which means the game restarted. So if I did not save it, then... I'm gonna have to start over again. I really hope I saved it, really hope I did. I did save the game, and how about this? I said in a previous vlog, Milwaukee hadn't lost. Atlanta's won two straight games, and now, will I be playing the Atlanta Braves? Okay, so it's the top of the fourth. I'm gonna play the fourth, fifth, and sixth inning, and maybe a seventh of five time. Mariners have scored in every inning so far. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat, Onis Wagner crushes a double into the gap. Joe Morgan had a single, then stole second, then was moved up to third on a sacrifice. And Onis Wagner brings him in. Mariners up 6-2. to two. Mariners just keep adding on. Aaron Judge on a curveball. Hits it into left field, into the gap. Easily coached into second. Another run comes home to score. Mariners 7-2. Last game, I really struggled against Madison Bumgarner. Not today so far. Back-to-back -back singles. 
And then Mike Schmidt crushes a double off the wall. Another run is scored. I have scored in every single inning so far. Mariners add on another. It's 8-2. to two. The first four batters that Madison Bumgarner has faced. Single, single, double. And now a homer. Joe Morgan to right field. His fourth on the year. 349 feet. And the Mariners have opened this game up. It's 11-2. to two. Where was this ever the first two games in this place? Right, it's 9.56, just got done playing the MLB game. It's still winning 11-2 to two through six innings. Move to the bedroom. Normally, I'd move here at 10, but three minutes early is not bad. Watch the end of the price is right. That's what I have it on now. Once that ends, turn on Kelly and Mark, and then I'll see you for 45 minutes. Suzette was so excited. I'll show. Guess who won it? It's Riley Riley. Yes, that is her name. Riley Riley. First name and last name, $31,913. She's taken home. Man, they got the whole crew there. There's like six people that look exactly the same. I'm gonna turn it on to NBC because Live with Kelly and Mark comes on. Like I said, I'll see you every 45 minutes. All right, it's 10.58. Kelly and Mark is ending, so I came back into my room. I ended up sitting in the bedroom for an hour instead of just the 45 minutes I said. I'm now gonna play the rest of the MLB game. I'm in the seventh inning. I'll play the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. I unfortunately did not score in the sixth, but the seventh, the scoring picked right back up. I've now scored in every inning, but the sixth inning. Joe Morgan hit a double to lead off the inning. He's now four for four. He then stole third. Ricky Henderson single through the left side of the infield. And the Mariners have a 12-2 lead. Larry Walker has a three hit day. He singles into center field. Ricky Henderson comes around to score. Mariners have 20 hits and 13 runs. This looks much more like the Mariners team I'm used to seeing. The Mariners are having a field day today. They bring in a new pitcher, and it doesn't matter. A single into center field. It's 14-2 Mariners. Joe Morgan came into this game with the worst batting average. He's now 5 for 5. He's got two homers. This one goes 412 feet. His fifth on the year, second of the day. And the Mariners... Score another, it's 15 to two. After the double, Ricky Henderson stole third. Sacrifice Fly Mariners. What a performance, 16 to two. A pop up to the catcher to end the game, and that does it. Mariners win it 16 to two, and they're headed to the World Series. A dominant performance tonight. Absolute dominance, the 2024 American League champions. The Seattle Mariners. They only scored a combined six runs in the first two games at this place. Today in onslaught, 16 runs, 24 hits. Scored in basically every inning. The only inning I didn't score is the sixth and the ninth. Twins, they scored in the first two innings and didn't do anything the rest of the game. Joe Morgan, five for five. He's the player of the game. Jacob DeGrom gets the win. Five strikeouts, two earned runs. Seven innings pitch. The bullpen was dominant. Ricky Henderson had a great game as well. The Mariners headed to the World Series. They dominate the Minnesota Twins 16-2. Since it's only 11-11, I'm now going to play, let's see, maybe three innings, one inning. I don't know how much I'm going to play. I, first off, let's see who we're playing. Did So I saw the Brewers were up 2-0, but then the Braves kind of came back. Is it Atlanta or Milwaukee? It is the Atlanta Braves. The Braves come back. Wow. Wow. Atlanta was down 0-2. Milwaukee had not yet lost a game. Wow, that's shocking. Seattle and Atlanta in the World Series. I'm going to play three innings of this game. Then I'll figure out what to do next. There's a look at Atlanta's lineup. For the first time ever, though, on my lineup, I am starting Paul Molitor. He's a 94 overall. Mike Schmidt's kind of struggling. So for the first time ever, Mike Schmidt not starting. It's Paul Molitor. Let's see what he can do. There he is right there. Clayton Kershaw's not off to a good start. Willie Stargell right back up the middle. Already three hits for the Atlanta Braves. And they're up one nothing in the first inning. Wait a minute, what? I just came back in here to get the iPad because I finished playing my MLB game. And apparently this guy... Yeah, I can, I can rewind things now. Oh, I love this. I can Look what he just said. He's been here 16 times? He's going to break Pete's record. Listen. Right now, you are tied for the most consecutive wins here at 16 times or getting to the final round. Unbelievable. I mean, not unbelievable. You're such a great player. Hey, it's nice. It's nice to tie the record 
we'll see next episode of I. You want to yeah. break it, don't yeah. you? Yeah. We'll yeah. Try. I'm gonna have to tune in tomorrow because is Pete gonna go down? Bork had a nice run too. Pete's record might go down. He's been here 16 straight times. Oh, I gotta watch tomorrow, Pete. You might be done, Pete. I don't want Pete's record to end. All right, it's 11.32. Just got done playing the MLB game. As I said in the last clip, person, place, or thing just ended. But check out what is going on on the Travel Channel. Ghost Adventures. Look, it's all recording. This is awesome. Ghost Adventures on all day. This one is a new episode, so what I think I'm going to do is the Joshua Tree Inn. I'll probably watch that. Well, well, first off, I guess I can see that. Is there any movies on? Because there's always movies. On. Like, I don't, I didn't have these channels in Missoula, so there might be movies up. There's always movies on. I mean, I showed you yesterday. The Mean One was on. Jurassic World was on. Jurassic World Dominion's on again. Here's what's going to happen, everybody. I'm going to watch Jurassic World Dominion until 12 o'clock, and then I'm going to turn on Ghost Adventures, if I'm still in here, that is. Jurassic World Dominion for the next 27 minutes, sitting in here. All right, it's 12 o'clock. Just turned it back to Ghost Adventures. New episode, like I said. Well, not a new episode, but Jurassic World Tree in. I'm going to watch this probably 15, 20 minutes. Make something for lunch today. This Ghost Adventures episode just started, and I'm already loving it. I have this recorded, but I don't remember anything about it. I mean, you see in the background, they're going crazy. This is awesome. All right, it's 1234. Just moved to the bedroom, eating my final two pieces of chicken. I got five pieces from Stein's, ate three of them. That was like two days ago when I told you I went into Stein's, drinking my Pepsi. Turned it to Netflix. If you remember in a previous vlog, I started watching the Redeem Team late at night because there was nothing on. Well, I actually never finished it. There's still an hour and 18 minutes left, so I'm going to watch this. And once I get done with this, I'll probably go back to my room and play three innings. All right, it's one on one. Just got done with the chicken. Normally, I would go somewhere else, but I'm going to stay here in the bedroom, watch 30 more minutes of this Redeem Team. There's 56 minutes left. And then at 1.30, I will go in my room, play three innings of an MLB game. And then I'll probably move out to the computer. All right, it's 1.32, as I said. I was wa watching the Redeem Team for 30 minutes. But since it is now 1.30, I'm going to play. I actually don't know how many innings. I only played one inning so far of the game. So maybe I'll play. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll play it till I feel like it. I guess probably two 2.15, I would say, is the latest I'll play it. Why can't Willie Stargell do this when I had him? That's his fourth of the year. He now has two RBIs. Freddie Freeman led off with a double to begin this inning. With that homer, the Braves up 3-0. What is going on here today? I'm down 3 nothing right now. Satchel Page is looking really good today, but not on that pitch. Aaron Judge deep to left field, 375 feet. His sixth on the year. And the Mariners... Put up two runs. It's down to one. Mariners, you know this offense is extremely good. Three runs is not going to be much to come back from. It's 3-2. Braves still lead it. That was a moonshot from Aaron Judge. A leadoff double by Roberto Clemente. Ground out moved him over to third. I put Mike Schmidt back in the game. Sacrifice fly to right field. And just like that, the Mariners tie this game at three. All right, it's two o'clock. I just moved over to the computer, turned it to Impractical Jokers. Gonna make some practice bets. I don't know how long that's gonna take. I haven't done that yet today, though. So I'm gonna do that now. All the games start at 4.45 today. Just gonna watch Impractical Jokers. I can't believe I never watched this show before. Missoula. It's like, I only started watching it in Missoula. Never before. I, I, it's just crazy. All right, it's 316, just moved into the bedroom. I'm only gonna sit here for about 20 more minutes. Watch the end of this Impractical Jokers episode. And I'm gonna move into my bedroom, play three more innings of the MLB game. All right, it's 324, just moved to my room. The Impractical Jokers is just ending. It's the same episode I've already seen. Well, I mean, I've seen them all, but I mean, I just saw this episode yesterday. So don't doesn't matter if I miss it or not. Gonna play three more innings on my MLB The Show game. Honestly, I might just finish it because I don't think there's that much time left anyway. I haven't played in this close of a game in a very long time. They had runners on the corners with only one out, and they ground into a double play. It's tied at three as we go to the bottom of the seventh. By far one of the most stressful games I've been in in a long, long time. And the Atlanta Braves are going to win the game. It was a 2-2 count. I threw a curveball, hit the bottom of the zone. Strike three. Nope, it was called a ball in the very next pitch. It's crushed out to left field for a homer. So instead of there being two outs, Atlanta clears the bases and they're going to win this game. 
That is unbelievable. The Mariners will not go away. You can promise that. Aaron Judge, second homer of the game, his seventh on the year, goes 422 feet. I wish this game was still tied at three. That would have been a go-ahead homer. Satchel Page was dominant today. Ryan Presley comes in. First batter, Aaron Judge homers. I got six out remaining, down two. It's the bottom of the ninth. Craig Kimbrell is the Braves' closer. They brought him in, sitting with an ERA of zero. But so far, he's faced two batters. He's thrown one strike. He's walked them both. He's walked the eight and the nine hole. So the Mariners at the top of the lineup. Runners on first and second. Nobody out. This is my last chance to do anything. Going against this dominant pitcher in Craig Kimbrough. So far, he hasn't looked so good. <sighs> Hopefully, I can win this game. I do not want to go down 1-0. Honus Wagner, base hit through the left side of the infield. And the bases are loaded with nobody out. I have to come up clutch here. Henderson grounds out to second base, but a run scores. It's 6-5. They try to double play, but with Ricky Henderson's speed too fast, I think I'm going to sub out Joe Morgan here for right-hand batter. Oh, man, I can't even believe this. Six to five, one out, runners on the corners. A sacrifice fly will tie this game up. The game just tricked me so hard. It did the home run animation, but it went foul. Another walk. Bases loaded, and that's all for Craig Kimbrell, who has been dominant this year. It's Jason Adam. Bases loaded, a hit into the outfield. will score two and win the game. And who else but it's Aaron Judge. Two homers, three RBIs today. Can't script this one much better. I got to finish this one out. Aaron Judge has done it again to left field. Are you kidding me? Aaron Judge is third of the day. It's a three homer night, 394 feet. And the Mariners have come back in the most emphatic of ways. A walk off homer down three runs. They were down two runs coming into the ninth against the Braves' best closer with an ERA of zero. Aaron Judge. Bomb to left field. Oh, yeah. And the Mariners win it. It's a walk-off grand slam. Are you kidding me? Grandma, get out the right bread and mustard. It's walk-off grand salami time. Oh, man. Oh, man. What a finish. Aaron Judge has delivered in the biggest of spots. Oh, man, what on earth just happened? A walk-off grand slam for Aaron Judge. And the Mariners survive. I mean, what did I? Seven RBIs for Aaron Judge. There's the score right there. Five runs in the bottom of the ninth. And the Seattle Mariners shocked the Atlanta Braves. That was by far the best moment I've had playing MLB The Show 24. Oh, man, what just happened? Oh, man. I am now going to sit in my bed. I don't know how long. Uh, wow, Aaron Judge, man. A walk-off grand slam. Are you kidding me? That was, that was unlike anything I've ever seen. That was truly unbelievable. What a way to finish off that game. Aaron Judge hits three homers. Mariners win game one in, in emphatic fashion. What a game. All right, it's 4.34. I just moved to the bedroom. I'm going to sit here till probably about 5 o'clock. Then I might move to the computer till like 5.30. I don't know. Don't know what the plan is for dinner or whatever. I actually don't know when the NBA game starts. I know it's the Nuggets and Timberwolves again. Pacers, Knicks, 6 o'clock. Got it. Then the Timberwolves starts at 8.30. I'm not going to be able to watch uh, the Fallon two-hour anniversary thing, but I will record it so I can watch it tomorrow. I'll be able to watch Fallon tonight, of course, but just going to see here, 30 minutes. And then I'll, I'll either move to my bedroom or I'll move to the computer. I'm not sure. All right, it's 5.02. My mom is coming back for dinner today. It's going to be pizza, so that should be done in about 30 minutes. What I'm going to do is play three innings of an MLB The Show game. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to start editing or continue editing the vlog, I guess. I didn't know I was going to be recording so much. I thought these vlogs were going to be much shorter. I think they're going to be just as long. So I still have to keep editing, but three innings of a new MLB game. And then the pizza takes about 20 minutes to make. I already preheated the oven and everything. So 
I mean, honestly, the pizza might be done before I get done with the three innings, so we'll see how long it takes. I have Randy Johnson on the mound, so not a lot of runs are going to be scored for Atlanta. And if this offense is already going to do this, this is going to be a win. A triple by Ricky Henderson, followed by a Mark McGuire sacrifice fly. Absolutely crushed it to center field. Perfect swing. It's far enough. one nothing Mariners. Armin Killebrew singles up the middle with two outs. Aaron Judge easily scores. It's 2 nothing Mariners here in the first inning. All right, it's 5.40. My mom got back, made the pizza, so I can't really talk loud. Here's the dinner for today. Two pieces, Red Baron pizza, a miniature Coke from Canada. Currently watching those signatures, but I'm going to turn it on to Netflix and finish watching what I was earlier, the Redeem team. And then I don't know what to watch. I don't know what to watch after that, but that's in about 30 minutes. All right, it's 6.32. Got out of the shower. Uh, I got done eating at 6 o'clock, went into the shower at 6.07, turned it to the next Pacers game. Unfortunately, right as I turned it on, Stamp and Gundy was speaking. I cannot stand this guy. All this guy does is complain. He's the most annoying. He has such an annoying voice. It's almost the end of the first quarter. Four-point need for the Knicks. Stan Gundy drives me absolutely crazy. He ruins games. He really does. I'm going to edit the vlog until 7 o'clock. That's what I'm going to do with, uh, over the next 30 minutes. And then at 7 o'clock, I'm going to move to the bed and make popcorn but and still continue editing the next vlog. But while I'm doing that, I'm watching the next game. All right, it's 7.07, just moved to the bed, made popcorn, got my drinks, got my snacks, watching the next game. Next up, 58.47, four minutes ago in the first half. Just been editing the vlog for the past 30 minutes. Like I said, I'm through 20 minutes. Vlog is 40 minutes long, so halfway done. Got to edit another 20 minutes. That's what I'm going to be doing. I don't know when it's going to be over. Probably it's not going to be done within the next hour or so. The next clip's probably going to be updating you when it's halftime. Next score again. Looks like they're pulling away. Home team has won every game this series. Complete opposite of the game that comes next, which of course is the Nuggets game, which the home team has yet to win a game. So looks like the Knicks are in control of this one. Going to sit here, edit the next vlog, and I'll watch the Knicks game while I'm doing it. It's 7-16 halftime. The Knicks up 69 54 Jalen Brunson had 18 points in the second quarter he already has 28 leading the New York Knicks to a 15 point lead since it's halftime I'm now gonna turn it to I have no clue what's on don't think I forgot about Jimmy Fallon Jimmy Fallon at 8 o'clock tonight I make sure to record it tonight show starring Jimmy Fallon 10 year anniversary that's gonna be awesome to watch and there was movies galore on earlier what is this the Thunderman's return? What is this? It's only 12 minutes left. What on earth is this? Is this like the interview of it? What is it? What in the world? It's an interview with Dish Studio. What, what am I even watching here? There's Kira Costa room. Yankees twins. I'll watch this till halftime is up. I think he's up 5-1. Never mind, I'm going to watch the NHL game, but I was just going to say Paul Blart Mall Cop on TV that I could watch. So, a lot of stuff on TV, but right now, I'm going to watch the Bruins-Panthers game, and then the Knucks Oilers comes on after it. All right, it's 7.50. NBA game definitely has started again, but I'm still watching the hockey game. 10 seconds to go. Florida's losing. Five seconds. This is the one thing I can't stand about vlogging at my house right as the game ended of course my dad doesn't walk in one time and of course the only time i record the hockey game only time is when it's ending of course he has to walk in so i couldn't record the end boston was down 3-1 if florida would have won that game they would have won the series and moved on but boston on the road lives to play another day they make it 3-2 in the series turn it back to tnt because it's way past halftime the Knicks are dominating, 86-64. Series tied at two. Players have to be separated again. Second or third time that's happened tonight. Knicks look like they're going to dominate this game. I could turn Fallon on. It starts at eight and goes till 10. 10 year anniversary, but I have it recorded. I'm more than likely just going to watch tomorrow. I guess I could watch the start since this game is such a blowout. Just going to keep editing the vlog, watching this game, and then after it, Nuggets game will come on. It's eight o'clock. Here comes Jimmy Fallon, the 10 year anniversary. I've waited a long time for this. This is going to be awesome. So cool. 10 year anniversary special. This is awesome. This is going to be so, so cool. Best moments from 10 years of Jimmy Fallon. Here's your host, Jimmy Fallon. There he is. Hi, I'm Jimmy Fallon and welcome to the Tonight Show 10 year anniversary special. <laughs> this is so cool. I have a feeling this is going to be the best two hours of the day because I remember watching this clip on YouTube 
when he talked to Taylor Swift about this LASIK thing. Best moments on Fallon over these last 10 years. This is all... I don't want to record too much, but this is awesome. This is crazy. We're two clips in, and these are two of the clips I watched on YouTube. Now, as I said, I only watched Fallon, like the actual show for the last year in Missoula. But I watched a ton of clips on YouTube, and I remember all these clips. <laughs> this is so awesome. Man, I'm really, really enjoying this so far. Jimmy Fallon, 10 years. So, so good. We're 20 minutes in. I'm going to turn it off when the Nuggets game starts. But until then, because the next game is a blowout, I'm going to continue watching Jimmy Fallon, continue editing the vlog. I have four minutes to write. I'm only editing it on commercials because I'm just enjoying Jimmy Fallon so much. I'm not on my phone or anything. I'm just watching it. I can't believe it's been 10 years since he started. So many good moments. So many good moments. Ah, uh, yes. Who could forget the moment Jimmy Fallon thought his career ended? I've seen that clip so many times. Jimmy Fallon has had so many good moments. They're just getting into the game section where they play charades and... Pictionary. This is, I absolutely love this so far. I just found out Jimmy Fallon has his own roller coaster in Universal Studios Orlando. I mean, that's epic. This segment, every commercial, after every commercial, there's a different like theme. So the other one was games. This is taking this show on the road. So everything that took place outside of the Jimmy Fallon show inside. I really don't want to turn this off when the Nuggets game comes on, but so I'm, I'm this awesome so far. This is so cool. Man, I feel like I missed out on a ton of Jimmy Fallon. As I said, I only started watching it this last year. I wish I would have watched it these past 10 years. I don't know why I did not watch it. I guess I just wasn't into talk shows. It's just so cool, man. It's just so cool. All these montages of all these moments. I mean, this is this is awesome. I didn't know Jimmy Fallon went to all these different places. I mean, he had, he had shows in Minneapolis, Central Park, Orlando. Puerto Rico when did he do all this stuff man I mean I only watched it the last year so everything that happened before that nine years it's just so crazy man I know I've said the same thing four or five times but this is awesome here comes all the comedy sketches the next game is over so I could turn on the Nuggets game I think I'm gonna keep this on till nine o'clock so in about 15 minutes I'll turn it off probably next commercial I don't want to turn it off because this is so awesome but I do have it recorded. All right, at 7.56, Jimmy Fallon just went to commercial. Coming up next is his favorite guest appearances. I'm going to be turning it. I will watch the rest tomorrow. Nuggets Timberwolves game on TV. Denver up by three here at home. I'm going to watch this the rest of the night. And then I'll watch Fallon. All right, it's 9.09. Still watching the Nuggets game. Just got done editing the vlog, so I'm going to give that to my camera. I'll up that, upload that to YouTube. Nuggets up by 228-26. Right, it's 9.45, first half, just about to end in the Nuggets game. This game is going to go way later than 10.30, so I don't know how I'm going to be able to watch Jimmy Fallon today. Anthony Edwards goes in. No good, and that's it for the first half. Denver leads it by 6. At the half, what I'm now going to do, uh, turn the hockey game on if it's on still. Canucks, Oilers, should be about over. Edmonton. Up to nothing, looking to tie this series at 2-2. Gonna watch this probably for 15 minutes, honestly, and then I'll turn the news on at 10. Go in my room. Right, it's 10-17, just got into bed. Just got the notification the Mariners lose 4-2. Did absolutely nothing today. What a disappointing effort by the Seattle Mariners. Watching the Nuggets Temporals game. Nuggets up 68-61. Five minutes to go in the third quarter. I don't know what's gonna happen at 10-35. Normally I would just watch foul the rest of the night, but this game is on... I can't remember the last time there was an NBA game on this late that interrupted Fallon. It's been a long, long time since that's happened. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'll probably keep score on... Maybe I'll put it on my phone. You know what? I might just put it on my phone. Who knows? All right, it's 10.33. 10 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Denver starting to pull away a little bit. Nikola Jokic has 35 points. The 14-point lead... For the Denver Nuggets, does not get the shot off. Now that the third quarter's over, it looks like it's starting to become a blowout. I'm gonna turn it on to Jimmy Fallon. Starts in one minute. Fun fact about his guest today. As I said in a previous vlog, that New York tour, you can't just go on Fallon. Chelsea Handler was on Kelly and Mark earlier today, which of course is also in New York. So, Kelly and Mark in the morning, Jimmy Fallon at night, Robert De Niro. Chelsea Handler and Mrs. Lauren Hill and YG Marley performed. That's who Fallon's got on. This should be really, 
really fun. The first episode after the special aired. Whoa, a new intro. There's Robert De Niro right there. I'm gonna watch this for an hour. And if I still am up after that, I'll update you when I'm watching and that'll be it. Jimmy Fallon, there he is. The first episode after the 10 year special. Well, Fallon, man. Best late night host in television right there. Yes, it did, Jimmy Fallon, it did air. 10 years. I can't believe it's been 10 years, that's awesome. You gotta talk about Steve Higgins as well, he's been here forever as well. 1998? 26 years. That's crazy. I like this episode so far. Jimmy Fallon's giving thanks to everybody. 10 years. 10 years. I imagine the roots as well. Couldn't do without him. This is very, very cool. Robert De Niro. This was Fallon's first ever guest as a late night host. That's awesome. I mean, that is absolutely awesome. I'm going to check out the NBA game real quick. Let's see what the score of this game is. It's not over yet. Oh, Dallas is going to win this one. Home team is finally going to win a game. Finally going to win a game. Denver is going to win this one. They're going to win three straight games after falling down 0-2. And the defending champs aren't done yet. One game away from the Western Conference Finals. They ain't done yet. A convincing 15-point win. Turn back to Fallon. Right, it's 11.35. That is going to do it. What an episode that was. But since it's now 11.35, I'm going to turn the TV off and end this vlog. Hope we enjoyed it. See you tomorrow.